All right, what's up, guys? Welcome to another episode of Pixel Effect. You know, I use my new mic. I love it so far. It um captured the sound much better than the CAD unit I, unit I had. But anyway, don't want to keep you long. Or maybe I do, because this isn't a typical Pixel Effect. This is a little different one. This is actually a kind of a a weekend review Pixel Effect. First things first. Really short. Um dealing with Shantae. If you were a backer on the Kickstart and you backed enough to get a physical reward, that's the soundtrack, art book, uh, t-shirt, coin, all that good stuff. If you backed and if you need to have your address changed or you just want to make sure your address is okay, go to the link I post below. It's the Kickstart link. Um, and go to your backer account to make sure you have your address correct by the 28th because that's the deadline for them to get their shipping get the shipping labels printed and everything get ready that's not the shipping date that's just a deadline for them at that date that's when they're going to start processing the orders um, because I know some people on the kickstart I see them I see them all the time in the comments where they come up two months from now or a month from now saying I never saw the link or I can't believe I missed this or hey wait for it I didn't have time to get on and check my account or my address it's changed you know go ahead and do it either even if you think you're you're gonna move in between now or something you know go ahead and check if you have a friend or something change the address to their address you know just make sure you have it correct you know don't you know come up you know the week of them trying to ship and say I need to change my address real quick no go ahead and do it now you know and that's pretty much it on it nothing new on Shantae um, still waiting to hear back on the you know the new figurine if they're gonna make one for her um, I'm still trying to find my instruction booklet to make my Shantae like I said I've lost it I don't know where it's at I've been looking like crazy to find it so I can finish it and you know as soon as Wave 4 posts pictures or something on the new outfit, the new costume modes, and if they show back rewards, I'll make sure I get those up as fast as I can. Um, but like I said, I'm still digging through my house to, or at my house, it's like, it's a studio apartment. But I'm digging around and I'm looking so hard to find that book so I can put together my Shantae statue because she's still in this Ziploc bag her face doesn't have any eyes, but you know, just her eyes are staring at me saying, hey, you had me for, you know, close to half a year now. Well, not half a year, close, but you haven't put me together yet. So go ahead and get on that. So I need to find that, but that's it for Shantae news. Now we're gonna move on to, um, you know, some new song, the Hedgehog news, the comic, you know, of course. So if you like the comic, you may enjoy this. Okay. So next up, we have um, an update in the Sonic the Hedgehog comic that's going to be done by IDW. You know, and they do some good comics. You know, I had some people, you know, on websites like the Sonic Forum, which is a great site for if you like Sonic, be careful because, you know, it's one of those, you know, it's a good site, but some personalities can be kind of aggressive towards certain things in the franchise, um, you know. But these two characters are Rough and Tumble. Tumble is the little bitty one, and Rough is the big one, and they're both skunks. Um, honestly, they look kind of sweet. I know some people have said on the forums, like, they're upset because, you know, or they don't look that good, and why they didn't pick, you know, Jeffrey from the old Archie comics. You know, I keep telling people, you know, you need to let the comic Archie go. Seriously, let it go. Just, just let it go. You know, go in the kitchen, get you a drink, let it go. You know, I grew up on the Archie comics. I have issue zero. I literally grew up on the comics because when I was born, you know, when I was like one, I think that's when they first started. My parents started buying them for me, you know, because I had a Sega, you know. So I grew up with the comics. I have every issue up to two, what was it? Somewhere in the, I have a, the issue in my house somewhere. Uh, it's the one with Metal Sonic on the cover, Racing Sonic and the Sonic CD knockoff, you know. Um, but there's some people that keep saying stuff like, why don't they go with the Jeffries look? Like, guys, it's because, one, if they did that, you know darn well, 
people would be saying either a it's a reskin you know and they get upset about that and then two you'll have people saying does this mean we're going to get the freedom fighters back i mean seriously almost every interview i've seen since they have announced this comic somebody's always asked are you bringing the freedom fighters back and they keep saying guys listen this is a new series they're not going to be in it you know and people keep asking are you going to give closure to it like my god just just get over it you know it's like the trains left the station and you know you're sitting on the train and you you you're hanging you're you're basically on the train but you're dragging your feet at on the back hoping that you know somebody who, I, I don't know I, i'm bad at analogies you know whatever you know what i mean you know it's like guys it's the new comic give it a chance see where to go with it stop bringing up the freedom fighter stop bringing up jeffrey's look and stuff um, these two guys look sweet. Ruff especially looks the best. I like villains that kind of have that squinty eye look. He looks like a beast, you know. But I'm, I'm hoping he's not one of those stupid characters, you know, where they're strong, but they're really stupid, you know. Because sometimes they'll do that with characters. You know, they'll make them big, but stupid, and the little one's smart, you know. I wouldn't mind if they're like brothers or something like that, and they kind of have that, you know. Tumble has more of a sneaky, he looks more like a sneaky kind of um, easily get annoyed kind of character, you know, and Ruff literally looks just like somebody who will sit down in front of you, punch you in the face, grab you, choke you, sit you back down and punch you again. So I'm kind of, I'm, I'm looking forward to the comic, you know, we got one more, we got two more months until it comes out. Um, I'm excited. I've already got a subscription down for it. I've already went ahead and bought the the one that's going to be sealed, the first issue. So basically, I'm getting two issues. I'm getting the first one unsealed, and I'm getting one that's going to be sealed. And I think it goes for a hundred dollars right now. I just said whatever, you know. Let's go ahead and pre-order it, you know. So got that. I'm excited for it. Um, not much was released about it. These two won't show up till issue three. So even in you know we got a while before we see these guys, but. I like the design. I think they're sweet. I'm hoping we learn some more. Um, so far, all the characters revealed has only been three, you know, Tumble, Rough, and Tumble, Rough, and Tang, Tang, Tangle, Tangle. God, I forget the girl's name. <laughs> you know, and then she starts with T. Tangle, Tangle. That's what it is. You know, it's just so many weird names right now but i'm looking forward to it i hope it's a sweet comic you know we got a little bit till it comes out so if more news pops up on it i plan to start um reporting on the sonic comic because i've always loved the comics and i've always wanted to report on them but it was already so late when i got it i mean when the you know youtube started becoming like a mainstream thing you know because like i said I've been on YouTube since 07, you know, my account doesn't say that because I've, I've lost two accounts. I have a legacy account on here, but I don't know the password. It makes me angry, but you know, I wanted to start it back then, but you know, I didn't think let's plays and reaction videos would take off like they did, you know, but whatever. So any more news on that, I'll let you know, but you know, rough and tumble, not rough. <sighs> keep saying rough and tumble yeah rough and tumble you know should be pretty good characters i'm looking forward to it you know um like i said they're skunks maybe we'll see them in the games that's one of the things about this comic i'm looking forward to we don't know how far th these rights go you know hopefully we won't have anything like in the past comics where you know a designer makes a character and they won't let the use you know carry over to anything else that's why we haven't seen a sequel to, you know, Sonic and the Dark Side Chronicles. Because of that whole legal issue with, you know, Ken and all that stuff. So hopefully none of that starts up with this. Because I would love to see these characters in the future in something else, you know, in a game or something. And I hope the story, like they said, they, they want to make it serious, but not so serious that you're rolling your eyes. And to me, Sonic can never be that serious because he's a blue hedgehog. Regardless of what they do, even if it's serious... It's a blue hedgehog. If you get that deep into a comic where you, you're, you're upset because they're doing something serious, you know, like Shadow, you know, that's that's silly because it's a little bitty, bitty black hedgehog. 
shooting a gun. You know, it's already silly in itself, I mean, but the story premise was still neat, you know. I was happy to kind of see where Shadow came from. You know, I didn't care for the cheesy dialogue, but I had fun with the game back when it came out, you know. Um, it was an okay game. And so, like I said, I'd like to see the story be serious, but still be fun, you know, be fun. Be like the Mega Drive comics, that those three issues were beautiful. So do something like that, you know. Actually, we did not get the third issue of that, I just remember. I'm actually kind of sad because that's when Art, she had all the issues come up in the council, so. You know, but for right now, that's these two characters. Hopefully we hear more of them later. But, you know, that's that's pretty much it. They were kind of dry bones issues with those two. I mean, we didn't learn much, but as soon as we do, I plan to make videos on the Sonic comic going forward now, so. Hopefully, more news pops up soon. The next bit of news is about Nintendo and their online service. You know, it's coming out one way or another, regardless of people who don't care for it, you know. Honestly, it's not that expensive. It's only, you know, there's rumors it's, it's between 20 to $25 is what I've heard, you know, um, for some pretty good sources. And honestly, if that's it for a year, that's, dirt cheap for an online service you know and granted i understand people say well i'm paying for you know playstation already and hey i'm playing for playstation xbox you know and now the switch when it comes out not counting what it costs to play pay, pay for the internet you know so i'm looking at you know but then again you know we have the services for you know what a year 60 a year so that's not too bad you're paying the price for one game for a year and the offers you get for those services, you know, like a free game every month, even if it's not the best game, you're still getting a free game because when PlayStation and Xbox first started, you know, a lot of people that feel entitled to free games, you know, when they first started, you didn't get anything. You know, I paid for Xbox and PlayStation back in the days where you didn't get free games, you know, um, but then they started offering, you know, to get people to come to the service and people now have taken that to the point where they feel entitled every month like i deserve these games or i deserve a better free game you really don't because if they wanted to they could have stayed what they did in the past and just kept it you know just a service you don't get a free game you're just paying us to play online but anyway nintendo said they have some big pretty pretty much they're trying to hint at something big as a reason to justify their online pricing in a q a session you know as you see here and for me the thing i want most with the switch is get rid of the friend codes my lord you know if i meet somebody on the online game and granted online games are fun but they aren't as fun as they used to be because now so many companies are scared to let little kids hear people talking online because they don't want them exposed to that kind of stuff you know I guess that's one reason kids act the way they do nowadays, you know. They're so sheltered from stuff, you know, that I don't know to get shell-shocked when they meet the real world, you know. So I grew up back with open chats and Halo. I mean, you want to hear cussing. Good God Almighty, get back in those days. Whew. Get cussed, teabagged, everything in those old games like that. But um, anyway, I like to see the get rid of friend codes. If I meet somebody in online games, like, hey, man, or hey, girl, I wouldn't say it like that, I just say hey. Um, good matches, you know, do you wanna send a friend code over or whatever and you wanna play later? You know, that's usually how I get my friends. I don't send somebody a friend code just cause you know, they're a girl or somebody that's really good at a game. I, I mean, you know, if I have fun, I say, hey, you wanna play later? Okay, you know, I know a lot of people will shoot friend codes, they hear a girl's voice or something, they'll shoot a friend code within a second. You know, that is kind of annoying to, to them, I guess. But, um, you know, I want people to do that. I don't want to have to say, you know, me, the, the people I've met have literally been at midnight events and they've been like, oh, I see you had a switch there, man. What's your uh, friend code? They'll take a picture with their cell phone, go home, text me, like, give me your number. I'll text you later. I'll text them my number. We'll go in there, put it, go online, add. That's annoying. It should just be able to say, hey, PlayStation Xbox, go in here, go in their app. You see me, add me, bam, we're friends right there. You know, do that. Um, I like to see a voice chat implementation into the system. 
granted they have one sort of with Splatoon, <clears throat> but my god it's so annoying. It's the stupidest voice chat function. The steps you have to go through instead of just plugging in the mic, talking. And honestly what I think companies should do in the future, if, if people don't want to hear people talking online, there is an option, like in Monster Hunter. I had a guy yesterday I played with fighting um, Mayor Gigante. Um, he had a dog barking in the background. Do you know what I did? I went on his profile. He wasn't talking. It's was literally just him and his, his dog barking. I don't know why he wasn't talking. You know, I went to his on his profile, my settings. I hit mute. It's a magical button that will mute that person, so you don't have to hear him. And I did that, and the match was much better. I didn't have to hear his dog. Perfect. If more people would take the time to, you know, take responsibility for yourself, don't expect companies to do stuff for you. Get off your butt, go to the options, mute the person, just like an Overwatch. If I hear a kid come in, you know, all of a sudden, what's up guys, we're gonna win this match and all this stuff and start screaming like, whoa, I'm Junkrat, whoa, come on. You know, what do I do? I go to the options, I mute the person, you know? If the person says something that's offensive, you know, if somebody says, man, you guys suck, you know? I had a guy the other day saying that like, we sucked and, you know, he was, you know, engaging in axed, ax, I've seen it, ax, ax, A-T, A-C-T-S with somebody while he was playing. And I'm like, report, you know, you're going to sit there and cuss me out, you know, and see all this stuff in our team, I just report you. Do that. Don't sit there and cry when you hear something offensive and you're going to sit there and then like act like you're a victim. No, just report it and get over yourself. You know, but you know, what I think, getting back to the main point, the main thing I want Nintendo to do is go ahead and announce the virtual console. And that's what I think this is for. With them saying they're justifying it, it's either one of three things. One, the service is going to offer a free game from not just NES and SNES, but 64 and GameCube. You know, that would be awesome. If we get a free game every month, you know, that'd be pretty sweet to say, hey, this month we're giving Beautiful Joe for the GameCube for Switch users. That'd be awesome. You know, that's it's either that, it's gonna be tied to the virtual console where it's basically like PlayStation Now, where it's a service where you can just go in and pick the game, you can play it. You know, you can't download it to your system but you can play it as long as you have a subscription service. You can play, I mean, you can download it to your system. You can't like say, you know, you, you're not gonna own it, own it, you know? So say if you get rid of the service, you keep it. No, you'll have to take with you on the go as long as you keep the service, you know? And that'd be sweet itself. You can download Star Fox 64, Mario 64, Beautiful Joe, Need for Speed Underground for GameCube, Mario Sunshine, uh, Twilight Princess, That'd be so awesome if they did that, you know? And the third thing is, um, you know, they're, they're waiting to show off how you get free games and the kind of online services they're gonna offer with it, like maybe Netflix, all that kind of stuff. I'm hoping one of the first two options though for this, but they haven't said much more than that. I don't know if they're gonna do a direct or if they're gonna wait to E3, you know? It's, it's still February right now. They could come out in March and push more to show what's gonna happen. Um, I would like that, but I think E3 is going to be their main focus. So they're going to wait for that to just blow us away. And I'm seriously waiting because I want to stream a Pokemon game. I've always wanted to stream it. I just can't justify buying another 3DS system just to stream, you know, the 2D Pokemon games. Because they get boring after a while, honestly, you know, because the most popular streams are people just randomly hunting shiny Pokemon. So basically, Instead of a brown Pidgey, it's a green Pidgey, like whoop de doo you know? I'd like to see the whole game, you know? And if they announce a 3D Pokemon game for the Switch, God, the internet would just explode. I'm seriously talking, it would explode. Imagine it, a game that looked like Mario Odyssey or Breath of the Wild, full 3D, open world Pokemon game that's online. Holy crap, that would be so freaking awesome. The only thing with that though, if they stick a bush in the game, will we be able to walk around it if it's full 3D? Because you know in the old games, there's always something in the game where it's like, oh, you need a certain move to get past this. 
when you know in real life you could walk around it you know i'm still kind of figuring how they're going to do that but that's what i'm hoping for for nintendo to come out to announce this e3 um show a trailer for metroid um i trying to think what else big they got that's pretty much it i know they got the shin shin um shin game the, the persona the more mature version of persona you know shin mugi i think that's how you pronounce it coming out I'm trying to think what else big they have pokemon you know i'm sure they'll have phoenix right they'll probably show it off so it could be a good e3 we have to wait and see you know i'm sure Pikmin will make another appearance and like i said the virtual console maybe they can finally get that up running but we'll see on that guys you know i'm hope i'm hopeful it's going to be good though i'm really hopeful you know i'm got my fingers crossed toes crossed even though it hurts and yeah i'm just hopeful so we'll see you on that in other surprise news you know coming out this week we had a new um update for the next dlc for well i say next but it's actually first official dlc for dragon ball fighter z which is a good game you know honestly i haven't played it more than maybe twice because one they have a lot of server issues and you know it's a very beautiful game it's just i'm glad it's easier but it also takes some of the joy away because when games are hard it's it's you you learn to overcome that and get good kind of like in guilty gear x xr you know you had to be you had to get good and over time as you learn the characters learn the moves you can improve yourself go to tournaments do good and i i can understand you have to have an entry point for fighting games you know because you can't just jump in to say you know maybe tekken and expect to win evo or something like that but it's it's a little it's a little sad because dragon ball fighters is one of the easier fighting games i've played in the last few years and that's mainly because of auto combos and i know they say you don't have to use auto combos to like you know win but honestly you can do just as good with auto combos honestly you know some attacks will do more damage if you don't do them auto combo wise but you can win a lot of matches just auto combo dashing calling in your assist character dashing again auto combo and just repeating that process over and over and then using the super you know in between there and it's it's really simple but anyway more to the point of this the first dlc characters are bardock goku's father and um broly and i see a lot of comments people saying you know why broly and they can't understand the hype behind broly for me growing up you know before you know dragon ball has always been a popular series but it's only now become just like most nerd things mainstream as i call it because when i was growing up if you liked anime you got made fun of you know or oh you like dragon ball z and you know you had some people who liked it who just wouldn't admit it out in the open but it wasn't as openly accepted as it is now now everybody in the grandma likes it you know they'll jump on man i love dragon ball z you know back in the day no but broly for me is because he's people don't understand because he's he's such a beast his size he you know they say well all he does is scream goku kakarot you know yeah that's it he's literally just the beast who wants to freaking kill goku that's, that's it he need he doesn't need some people seem like i have even people i know on facebook and message boards they seem to think Dragon Ball Z, or they get upset over Dragon Ball Super because they think Dragon Ball is this show that has some kind of deep Romeo and Juliet aesthetic plot. You know, they think it has this deep story and it has to have these deep meanings and, you know, oh, <clears throat> Vegeta didn't, didn't get all her instinct or something, you know, I'm, I was disappointed by this and the whole show is just filler, you know. It's Dragon Ball Z. The main point of the, to the series is a bunch of buff guys fighting each other shooting energy beams it's not a it's not a series that has a deep story and i see so many people i know getting upset you know thinking it because they don't have a deep story and broly is one of those reasons you know he's just a beastly character technically he's not canon in anime in the games he sort of is their universe i consider those universes different you know kind of like xenoverse and the uh, online game in japan i think it's super heroes i think or heroes and um yeah, it's just Broly. He's just a beast. He's the kind of guy who will sit your front door, punch it in, 
come inside your house, choke you to death, and just beat you while screaming, you know, and laughing. You know, he's just an awesome character because he's so beastly. And his attacks in the games are really just literally rush down. I'm going to beat your butt within two minutes, you know. And, you know, I'm going to beat you within a half an inch of your life. It's just awesome, you know. And Bardock's another good character, you know. I, I felt bad he was always portrayed as kind of, you know, he took on some of Frieza's men. And, you know, it was pretty sweet, but he got killed, like, just pretty much by a first form Frieza. But then he came back and got a super form, which would be in the game. But it looks like it's honestly just a, his special is to go super. It looks like he fights normally. And um, so maybe we'll see how that plays out. And then for Broly, more than likely, I guess he's going to be like Go, um, young Gohan, where he's going to be like literally a close range. If you get caught, you're dead by him. You know, you want to keep it range from Broly. And I'm sure he'll have some range options, but I can see most of his attacks being literally up close decimating you. But... And then um, Xenoverse 2 is going to get some DLC. They're going to get a Android 21 skin, which honestly looks like a Majin character's already default costume, I think. You know, it's decent. I mean, you get, if you get her hair and stuff, that's okay. But, you know, I prefer to make a Majin that kind of look like her. I hope if they make a Xenoverse 3, they give us more options like that. Like, let my character have a tail. Let my margin have be, you know, certain proportions, you know, skinny waist, um, edit the hair length, chest, all that stuff. You know, they, they've been kind of mellow on what you can customize. And then Dragon Ball Fighters is also going to get a lobby avatar of the Kai of Time. You know, she's adorable. I love her. And as soon as she drops, I'm going to use her avatar exclusively because I think it's just awesome. I, I like her character. You know, I want to find the art book. You know, they had designs and stuff in there of her before they edited it, but I'm still trying to find that, track it online. But for my hopes in the future of DLC characters, I want to see Kale, or however you say her name, Cauliflower and Khalifa Fuse. I like her character. Again, I have some people that don't like her because, you know, I understand that. You know, I don't, I didn't like her getting Super Saiyan so easily, you know, but hey, it's a Super, it's a different show. They don't have time to waste 20 episodes waiting for somebody to get a super form now i guess you know go hunt and go 10 went super within you know just as a joke you know it's like oh nobody taught us look what i can do boom super you know nobody complained back then so you know get off that high horse but i think she'd be a good character her fuse state now because they do it separate i wouldn't want the two slots wasted on both of them either do the fusion or do the fusion that, that's what it's going to be do the, do the fusion so I want to see her, and I also love to see Jiren in the game. He'd be pretty sweet. And Cooler, I got to have Cooler. He is such an awesome character. God, I love Cooler. In his first movie, he was awesome. In the second movie, it was kind of a letdown because you know it was kind of a, you know, it's not canon, but it's one of those stupid decisions villains make. It's like I can make a thousand bodies that you couldn't take. You you struggle with one. I made a thousand bodies to take you out. I literally could have killed you, but instead I'm going to capture you and try to steal your energy to power my star instead of just eating planets, you know, what I was doing before. And what happens? They break loose and they kill them. I'm like, well, guys, I mean, I mean dude, seriously, you could have you could have killed them easily, you know, but I was like, whatever. But I hope cooler, if, if it is cooler, I don't want mecha cooler or middle cooler. I want cooler final form don't give me his you know freezer's final form version give me his final final form you know the shredder version basically that would be so awesome and they said there's leak there's leaked data in the game of an announcer saying cooler so hopefully he's going to be announced after these characters him and kale being announced would be pretty sweet but that's pretty much it for fighter um news xenoverse 2 is going to get some dlc and it's going to be um, Goku Ultra Instinct, where he's mastered it. And Jiren, you're going to get some DLC, some swimsuits for 18 of Adele. If you don't like it, don't buy it. Stop complaining about stuff like this. It's from Japan. Get over it. They don't look at this stuff like, you know, why we got to have them in swimsuits? You know, that's sexist and stuff. You know, if they like it, you don't have to wear the costume. If you don't like it, don't buy it. Seriously, I get tired of hearing those complaints like that, but... 
I probably won't use it myself. I'm looking forward to Jiren. But Ultra Instincts Goku Mastered is going to be in the future DLC pack. So I'm looking forward to that. But um, for hearing anything else, I'll let you know. But for right now, that's it for the Dragon Ball news. Um, like I said, Super is going to end March 25th, I believe. So we got three more episodes because it's a skip next week. So I'm hoping it's going to be pretty sweet. You know, I'm... I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure I know how it's going to end, but I'll save it for a next another video, so in the future. So now that's it for Dragon Ball news, of course. So I ate some jalapenos, and it's making me want to sneeze. Be careful, kids. Don't eat jalapenos at night. You know, I'm just saying. All right. This next topic is it's going to be difficult to talk about it, but, you know, we're going to try anyway. We're going to jump right into this. It's, um, you know, the new SNK game, the, um, SNK Heroines Duel, and basically, you know, people have been saying, is it too sexy, or it's too sexy, and, you know, pretty much the, the typical, the usual discussion we get every year when Japan releases one of these games, it's fan service, you know, basically like that. I know recently Game Informer had an interview, which, God, it was a horrible one. And, you know, the SNK should have just came out and said, you know, we wanted to make a fan service game because we could. They kind of came out and said, you know, there's a reason why the girl's wearing these outfits. And honestly, it's probably some spell, some evil girl character cast on the other characters, you know, to do this. If they don't, they'll die within so many days, yada, yada. Anyway. You know, basically, it's, it's, it's pretty much a fan service game. It's no different than DOA or, you know, Tekken has its own fan service in it. Um, Dragon Ball Fighters, Android 21, you know, that's fan service right there. Guilty Gear with I know. You know, there's a lot of people that say, that are saying for this game especially, it's too sexy and, you know, they don't think it's going to do well. It probably I mean, it won't sell millions, I'm sure, but. It goes into discussion what's what's too sexy and honestly i'm one of those people that you know as long as you you know it's it's a it's a huge slippery slope in some situations but for me you know now don't get me wrong what i'm, I'm saying I'm, what i'm gonna say is like if you don't like the game or you don't want it don't buy it it's not meant for you if you don't like the characters and these crazy outfits don't buy it go buy regular king of fighters there, there's literally another King of Fighters game out there you can go buy instead of this. People who want to buy this game, they can buy this game. You know, you don't. You, people don't have to always just sit there and be, oh, this is horrible, or this is, you know, the girls are in these skimpy outfits, you know. You don't have to buy it. You don't have to look at it. You know, you if you sit there and force yourself to look at it, that's your own fault. Now, this being said, like I said, it could be a slope because take, for instance, Twitch is new terms of service guidelines there's a lot of people they, they pushed it back basically because there are a lot of people upset about the new guidelines and honestly what they're upset about was if you you know just i'm just going to cut through the crap and what a lot of people were upset about in the new terms of service was for the people who are very mm, how, what's the word basically people who cuss a lot people who you know do that kind of stuff in their streams where they cuss like a sailor on a drunken honeymoon twitch pretty much said you know if we see this and you're being you know hateful and all this stuff your account will be suspended oh heaven forbid people did not like that because twitch is not as strictly enforced as youtube and people were upset that twitch was going to do this and but if you look most of one of the comments that really stood out to me was one guy said there's people he likes to he there's people on on twitch he likes that are very toxic. Like that's their personality. They're funny, but they're toxic about it. Like they're toxic in their games. They cuss a lot, swear, all that stuff. And he likes that. He likes that toxic, how you say that word? Toxicity towards other people. He likes it because he's funny. And I'm sitting there thinking, well, see, there you go. That's, you know, they're saying they're gonna pass this rule to stop that. But you're basically coming out saying you, people are saying, you know, that's kind of what's, you know, it's one of those societal things, you know, it's, it's tricky, you know. And it's like you're basically saying you want the toxic people to stay there, you know, so don't get offended when people on YouTube channels do certain things, you know, like, um, what was his name, Logan? You know, not saying I agree with what he did, 
but you can't eat your cake and you can't have your cake and eat it too you know whatever that terminology is because you know you can, people complain about him but yet they defend twitch and stuff like that saying they want people to stay like that it's it's weird you know you can't say you want people like logan and then one minute say well what he did was wrong you know but what he did was wrong don't go around feeling crap like that you know that's common sense but you know it's kind of one of those if somebody's you know cursing a lot don't sit there and say report them and then turn around and say when they try to pass these guidelines saying well i don't want that now you know that's a little too extreme so but in the case of the snk game me myself i don't think it's too sexy you know fan service games from japan have been around for years dead or alive like i said king of fighters has always had it in the series my Maya's not new. Maya's been out since the mid 90s. She's always been a fan service character. Huge fan. The Jiggle Physics. I want to say she's one of the earliest ones. You know, you don't have to buy the game. You don't have to like it. I'm probably going to get it just to stream for you guys or post it on YouTube. You know, I'm trying to find a balance how to get videos on both, you know, um, fluently. But, you know, it's like the Shimmering Congress series. Great series. Ton of fan service. Hyper Dimension Neptunia, ton of fan service in it, you know. A lot of games in Japan have fan service, you know. You you basically just come to, you get used to it, you know. Um, Dead, I mean, Resident Evil had some fan service with Resident Evil 4. Ashley, holy crap, Ashley, wow. You know, I'm just saying. And people, like I said, it's, it just seems silly that people get upset over games like this, you know. You don't have to buy it, you go in the store, Go pick up Bayonetta, go pick up Splatoon, go pick up, I don't know what else the Switch has, right? What does my Switch have with it? Uh, Legend of Zelda, I, got, I sold Bomberman and I couldn't, I got tired of trying to get gold. Uh, let me see. Well, you know what I'm saying, there's several games you can buy, you don't have to get it, you know, so. Me, myself, I just want to know what you guys think, you know, because this is, these, these videos, when I start making these every week, I want to hear what you guys think. That's what I that's that's what I like about YouTube. I like seeing you your guys you guys comments. Sometimes I can't reply when I want to, and I try to reply to everyone I can. Sometimes you have to let me know if you made a comment and it's not spam now, but you made a real comment because sometimes YouTube will actually mark some of your comments as spam if you type like a lot without pushing enter and stuff. They'll mark it as spam and I'll never see it, you know, until like a year later or two years. I'm like, oh crap, I didn't unmark this as spam. But um, I like to hear what you guys think. I like reading your comments at work and stuff. So when I get home, I can write this up in notes and stuff and, you know, make a video on it in the future. But yeah, let me know what you think. You know, what do you, what do you, do you think it's too sexy? Do you think this is too sexy? You know, what, what do you think? Do you not want it to release in America? So we have to go back to just importing games if you want it you know what do you think you know like i said me myself i don't see it as being too sexy but let me know what you guys think about this one tell you that yeah all right and for the last piece of news i want to i want to cover was i've seen a lot of people talk i see on youtube comments and stuff and on facebook people saying they wish there was another swat cat series and you know, I'm surprised it hasn't got as much traction as I hoped it would with people knowing about it, but the creators of SWAT Cats are actually trying to make a new series called SWAT Cats Revolution. Granted, I hope it's as dark as the, well, the old series, it got canceled because they thought it was too dark. You know, that was the reason they canceled it, you know. They had toys and stuff set to release and they canceled the series because they said it was too dark and violent. Going back and watching SWAT Cats, it is not that dark, honestly, you know, maybe for early 90s, you, you know, the early 90s was a weird time where we were trying to embrace action and cartoons, you know, instead of just Flintstones all day, but, you know, SWAT Cats was one of those early pioneers of that, and, um, but anyway, they had a kickstart, you know, last year, early last year, it was a few years ago, and they got the money for it, but the, what it was, it was money to pitch the idea, kind of like um, the Dragon Slayers movie. And they're trying to pitch the idea to several companies. Already, I can tell you now, um, I believe Tom Warner is still over Cartoon Network, whatever, but Cartoon Network basically turned down the cartoon, you know. Not Cartoon Network themselves, but the network basically turned them down, saying, you know, we don't want this show. 
So I'm guessing we're stuck with Teen Titans Go and Steven Universe for the rest of our lives. Honestly, you know, Steven Universe is going to end pretty soon. I'm sure Teen Titans Go be forever. I still like Gumball. But anyway, they turned them down. They had a few other networks. I think they tried Boomerang. They turned them down. And so what they're trying to do now is make this series its own. They're making a web series. And if that means it's just going to release on the web, I don't know. I'd love to see it on Netflix. But basically, they've been traveling. The last update we've backed this guy. Because I backed this, you know. I got like a giant. I backed it. I should have got the art book. I don't know why I backed out of it. It was just an, it was just another hundred dollars. I should have got it. I really should have got the art book. Um, I wasn't sure how many pages it was. That's the reason I backed out. Because when I want art books, I want like a hundred pages plus. You know, I wasn't sure if it's like thirty-two or something. But I basically got like a giant um, post, a giant not a poster. You know, it's like a. A drawing of all the characters from the show and they're all signed by their voice actors so that's that's sweet right there I got it framed I got the certificate framed with it but um I got that but they've been traveling across the country and across the world talking to investors trying to pitch the idea the last update we got was in October um, and they said they hope to have something by the end of the year we haven't heard anything yet uh, me myself I think they have a short they haven't shown it to us but i honestly think they have a short um they're, they're pitching to these people and i love to see it but for right now the last update we had was they said they're still traveling um you know it says i know you've been waiting patiently for more news and specifics and i can understand the frustration if any you may have we certainly feel that way at times but we must keep moving forward until we succeed also, in our experience developing animated programs and projects in general, it's impossible to keep certain revelations. It's important to keep certain revelations under wraps until everything's set in stone, contract signed, or at least until we know the basis of any news that is solid. And that's true. I work with contracts every day at work. You cannot go out and, I mean, I know stuff leaks, and a lot of times companies plan that on purpose. Like when you see, at E3 or something where it says, oh, this new game is going to leak. That's because they want it to. That's marketing, you know. That, that They want that stuff to leak, you know, because nobody's that stupid. But there's a lot of stuff out there. If you let it leak, you can find yourself in huge legal trouble. And I'm sure they're not in that deep a situation, but, you know, that could be one reason they won't release more information about what they're doing, you know. And so that's basically it. You know, I've just been trying to... um I wanted to come out and just tell people, you know, hey, there is a new SWAT Cat series in development right now. They they literally just haven't said much about it. We don't we really we don't have anything to show, that's why, you know. But it is being developed. Like this picture you see, that's it. That's all we've gotten so far on the show. You know, we don't know what characters come we don't know what characters are gonna be in it, we don't know the storyline. Anything, you know, me myself personally. I would love to see the series be a little bit darker than it was growing when I was growing up. Because honestly, most of the fans of SWAT cats, like this isn't meant for kids. I mean, I'm sure kids will watch it and they, you know, and stuff like that. But a series like this that kids of the day, millennials, wouldn't know anything about, it wouldn't do right, you know. It's meant more for an older crowd that remembers cartoons from the 90s. It'd be like, say, if they wanted to bring Gargoyles back. Some kids may remember it because they played, they did play Gargoyles now late until the late 90s, early 2000s. They played Gargoyles a lot. And just saying that makes me feel just a rush of nostalgia for the old Toon Disney. I miss that network so much. Not this Disney XD crap. Toon Disney, the original one, you know, when it had Chippendale, Darkwing Duck. In each commercial break, it was like a a movie theater where we have like what the show is coming on next god just think about that makes me feel so bad because it's like i wish they were at least a dvd with those shorts like that but um i don't know where i was going with that line of thought like literally my mind i went to tune disney my mind is just blank oh god what was i thinking about anyway you know that I'm sorry, that that was it. I just wanted to share this last, because this video is super long. I, I'm i amazed I went 30 minutes, you know, so I'm happy about that. Um, 
But I just want to let you guys know there's more. Oh, gargoyles. That's what it was. I'm sorry. I was saying for sure, like, gargoyles came back. Kids wouldn't, like, tune, like, Teen Titans Go kids wouldn't understand the significance of gargoyles and why it was so special. Shows like that, you know, like, Darkwing Duck came back. Things like that, you know, so. I'm looking forward to, like, like hey, whoa, tongue tied. Like the Hey Arnold movie. You know, when it came back, it was awesome. You know, for us 90s kids to see it finally get closure was just awesome. You know, so. Again, with most of the things in this first more serious video I'm doing, a series of news, um, if anything comes out, I'll let you know. But again, on all this stuff today, like I said, I want to hear what you guys think. What do you think on the sexiness of the that, um, SNK game? What do you think about SWAT cats? Let me know stuff you want to talk about so I can do videos in the future. What do you want me to talk about? Do you want me to talk about Shantae and her love interest, AKA Roddy Tomps? What do you want me to talk about? You know, just let me know. Um, we can talk about figurines, new uh, figurines coming out, new the animes, um, Dragon Ball, One Piece, you know, new video games, um, plot details. You just let me know, you know. But um, anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Like I said, this is one of my longer videos that I'm going to start doing. Like I said, I'm going to try to get these up every Friday from now on. Like, get the news through the week and then every Friday post it. I got behind this time because I did not know how much work it took to make one of these videos. Like, literally, I'm using Sony Vegas and I have, like, like six layers of different files, like, stacked on top of each other. You know, from noise gates to video filters, just stacked up. So... Thanks as always guys for watching. Um, I got another video I'm posting right after this, you know, so look forward to that. It's just a little thank you video and stuff, but um, until later guys, I'll see you. And um, I don't think SWAT Cat said anything special when they did stuff. I was gonna say rock on, but you know. Have a good night or good afternoon or good day whenever you're watching this and just, you know, be awesome as usual guys. Cause you know, you're all awesome people, except the people who post spam links to my stuff. I don't like you people. You're, you're evil. So, yeah. Later, guys. All right, guys. Feel free to follow me. Twitter, Facebook, Twitch. You know, I, I, it mean a world to me. You know, ask questions, post fan art, anything, you know. I love talking to you guys. But until next time, I'll see you guys on the next Pixel Effect.